charges. Atlantic City, pretty popular with people in our area looking for a weekend getaway. But tonight, there are more accusations of casino security guards crossing the line. News 4 first told you about this Florida family right here who says they were roughed up by guards at Harris Casino. And then we showed you these cab drivers who say they got beaten up at the hands of security at the same casino. And now another man says that he's the victim of brutality at Harris. And he says this video proves it. New Jersey reporter Ted Greenberg has this news for exclusive they beat me the two guys need me to, they choked me. they did everything they could to me frank farrell says harris security officers violently took him down twice for no reason at all and i kind of you know was couldn't breathe with all this happening and kind of begged for them to get off. Farrell's lawyer gave us a copy of the casino surveillance video, which captured the November melee in Atlantic City. It's described as a gang-like attack in this civil lawsuit against Harris filed on Farrell's behalf today. Did you resist them in any way? No, sir. Not even close. The 55-year-old from Brigantine, a crap stealer at the neighboring Golden Nugget, says Harris officers assaulted him while kicking him out of the casino after he couldn't get a comped hotel room minutes earlier. He says the officers later falsely accused him of throwing a drink in the face of a Harris employee. This is not an isolated incident. As we've previously reported, five others have also come forward in recent months with lawsuits that accuse Harris security officers of violence violent, unprovoked attacks. A family from Florida, two Atlantic City cab drivers, and a North Jersey college student all say they too were brutalized. An ambulance crew took Farrell to the hospital to be treated, he says, for bruises and cuts on his body. It was very unwarranted. It, I just asked for a room. A spokesman for Harris parent company told us in an email today that it has a long-standing policy of not commenting on pending litigation. When I asked if Harris is reviewing its training procedures or has disciplined any security officers, he also had no comment, saying any action they might or might not have taken could become part of the lawsuits. Farrell's suit seeks unspecified compensatory and punitive damages. In Atlantic City, I'm Ted Greenberg, News 4 New York. All right, Ted, thank you. We